How you doing guys welcome to another ATR guide repair I have a Nissan 350 350z 3.5 with a bog in doesn't have any power it also has a mass airflow code which you know you probably know is going to be a mass airflow but we really need to check it out to make sure it's better or that the part is wrong so what I'm going to do is show you a couple different ways that we can just check the mass airflow out. So the first way is you'll go to your scanner and then you can see the mass airflow go up and the mass airflow go down. Or we can hook it up to the scope and we're going to be able to see the voltage go up and then the voltage go down. So, but there's a lot of different things that can involve this mass airflow going bad. One, you could have a clogged fuel filter. It makes the air not go in and makes it bogging out. Two, your air filter might be bad, you, where if the air is not going in it, the, enough air is not going into it to make your voltage change or make your pattern go up. Three, you could have a clogged exhaust, making too much back pressure going into the mass air to where the intake doesn't see it. So on this one, I want to show you how you can do it just by blowing into the mass airflow and then you can watch the voltage. So I'm just going to do the guided component test so we can see what's going on with the mass airflow. So I'm going to go guided component test, North America, Nissan, it's an 08, it's a 350, 3.5. We're going to go to engine and we're going to go to mass airflow. We'll go to DC test because we want to use the scope on this area. You can see pin three is our signal. The pin three, you can see we have it hooked back probe right there. And then also you can see we have our ground going right here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the voltage side. Here's how you back probe it. Just go back into the connector and go right back into the pin so you don't hurt the wire. And we're going to see what the scope is going to do. So I'm going to hit my meter. And then we're going to reset our voltage to what we, I think, is a good way to set them. So I'm going to go to, I'll stick it at five. And then on the five seconds, I'm going to go, let's stick it at five seconds. We'll just leave it the way it is. And then we're going to see what it can do. So now we have our voltage set up, our scope set up the same way we need our voltage. So now we're going to go and I'm going to blow in two the sensor, and then we're going to see what our voltage does. So turn the key on, and then blow into it. Now I'm going to pause it here, so I can go back and show you something. So the most important thing when it comes to the mass airflow is the spike up. We want the spike up so we know how fast the mass air sensor is reacting to the wind. So if you look at this, it goes straight up. That's what you really want out of this is because as soon as you get that air in there, and since we're not using the air filter or the cat's not involved, the engine's not even running, you know, we can see the actual peak that the mass airflow sensor has given us. So our peak is here, which is going to three volts, which is a nice voltage too. So if you got a bad one, the sensor is just gonna kinda go here and then up and then back down. You're not gonna see that spike. You're gonna see just a whoo. And I have one here and I'll show you it um, on the video. So here's the bad mass airflow it started out good you can see it went good up now i gave it gas again and look at the flat spot going through the mass airflow this means that that mass airflow the response time is just not working right so this is how you can tell if this is a really bad mass airflow and you can always blow into it too and see what kind of peaks you have into it
The best way to check to see if your mass airflow is good. I hope this helps you guys. You know, sometimes it's better to be not just to replace these parts. Oh, I got a mass airflow code. Let me replace the parts. This, is, this don't do that. It takes two seconds to do it this way. Look to the signal, ground, power, blow into it, and see what kind of peak you have. Well, thank you again for watching this. I hope you subscribe and, and join my subscription. Um, I'll be seeing you guys soon with the next video. Thank you.